Hey guys, it's Amy Beth and Keto Queen. It is Wednesday, guys. What does that mean? It's hump day. <laughs> I'm having fun in the kitchen tonight. My niece, Alex. Turn that camera around, Alex. There it is. <laughs> my niece, Alex, is at the kitchen with me. We're cooking for her parents. So I've got my son here tonight, which is always a joy. You guys know he moved out. So I really enjoy every time he comes to the house. Yes, I work with my family, but guys, I love to have my family at home. And he doesn't live here. So I'm so excited to have Justin and Wesley Tinker coming. Alex is here. Thank you, Alex, for holding my camera. I want to talk to you guys really quick about something that I actually love. This is my favorite dish. Is the TV too loud? It's really, really loud for me. If the TV is too loud and you can't hear me, put in comments, please. <laughs> and let me know what you guys are doing for dinner tonight. This low carb kale friend. I turn it up just a little bit. I love great church. And then I'm gonna start singing. Come on! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Turn it down a little bit, please. Okay. <laughs> We're having fun tonight. Okay. So tell me what you're doing for dinner tonight. That's low carb keto friendly. Alex will tell me what you guys are saying. I hope you had a fabulous day. I love Wednesdays as well as Mondays and Fridays. Those are the best days of the week. Monday, because you get to set the tone for the entire week. If you want to have a crappy week, then have a crappy Monday, okay? If you want to have an amazing week that's positive and energized, then have a great Monday, and you can set the tone for your week. Wednesday is hump day. It's the middle of the week, so we get to look forward to the weekend and then Friday. Woo, Friday work is over. We get to go on date nights and have a great time. So I love Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. How about y'all? Okay, so let's talk real quick because my, my sister-in-law's on her way to the house. I'm in my new kitchen. <laughs> if you guys have missed me for a while, I'm so glad you're back. Thank you. And if you know that you have a friend who I can help with low carb keto, friendly, easy, family, loved meals with very few ingredients you'll see tonight, this is very few ingredients, then share this video, please. Share my page and get your friends on board because keto will change your life. All right, so we're making a chicken parmesan over zoodles. Normally when I make this, I use my air fryer, but I'm making a lot tonight. So I've already got one pan of chicken ready for the oven. I'm gonna use the oven tonight. And I'm fixing to do a second pan and we're gonna use my confectioner. So you guys, if anybody has an oven with a confectioner option and you know what it is and you know what it does, please tell me, because I'm gonna give you my cell phone so you can call and teach me. <laughs> But tonight we're going to use it because I don't know what it is and hopefully I won't burn a pan of this chicken. Okay, so chicken parmesan. I told you guys last night I have a tip. If you want to cook dinner fast, don't use a big fat chicken breast. Use chicken tenders. They cook so much faster, 15 minutes, 20 at the most, and dinner is ready. This is a meal that you can literally put together, have ready to eat in 30 minutes or less. More than likely even less than that, especially if you've done a little bit of prepping. So we've got our chicken tenders washed. I've got a bowl of mixture already started. I'm going to add a few things to it so you can see what I'm doing here. I love my air fryer. If you use an air fryer, this is going to be the perfect dish. I have baked it before and it's really, really good, but the air fryer gets a little crispy like a fried chicken. The best coating is Parmesan cheese. So I use the uh, Parmesan cheese a lot. I keep this in my refrigerator. We're going to use Italian because this is an Italian meal, right? So we got some Italian seasoning and I like to see color. So I love seasonings. We're gonna use a lot of Italian. And if you pile it up, it looks pretty colorful, right? As soon as you start stirring it, it turns white again. Add more Italian. <laughs> I like to see a colored coating on my chicken. I also have a little bit of oregano. We're gonna use a little oregano, a little salt and pepper always. I love my pink Himalayan salt or Redmond's real salt to get all the minerals you need on keto, guys, because you are, and my favorite thing, garlic. And this is making our, our crust, our chicken coating. So we're gonna start it up, make sure it's not white. I don't wanna see white cheese on my chicken. I wanna see a beautiful Italian crust on my chicken. All right, so it's got a little seasoning in there. You see that? I want more. We're gonna add some more Italian. What is your favorite seasoning you guys use? Alex, does anybody tell me what they're gonna do? Yeah. Okay. Um... I have someone said hamburgers and green beans. Ricky's favorite song song. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> um, a keto salad from Chipotle. Ooh, that sounds good. Um, that's it so far. 
Okay, confectioner oven. It just cooks faster because the air moves around. The tip is always reduced your temp by 25 degrees from what your recipe calls for. Okay, so is it kind of like an air fryer as far as like baking it on good? I'm just curious. I don't know what a confectioner is. Debbie Stratford's favorite seasoning are garlic and jalapeno powder. Uh, she found the jalapeno powder on Amazon. Amazon, of course. Let me just tell you guys a secret. I have no Amazon account because I will be broke. I'll have to go into bankruptcy because I love the shop already. And Amazon is just too convenient. Oh my goodness. If I need something from Amazon, I have to get on my husband's phone with his permission <laughs> because I don't even know if he's signed on to an Amazon account. That's how strict I have to be with my shop. <laughs> we got a question. Yes. What's an alternative? And blah, blah, blah. What's another alternative for Parmesan? Okay, um, if you don't want to use Parmesan, you don't have to. You also can use crushed pork rinds to make it low carb keto. So my favorite pork rind brand is Max. I don't know if you have a Walmart in your area. I know they sell them at Walmart and I think they sell them at Kroger, but Max original pork rinds make a really good crust. Just chop them up really fine so it's kind of like a dust. You can do that with a mixer or your hands, but your hands will get tired. <laughs> but you can use pork rinds with the same seasonings or any kind of seasoning you love. And uh, that works out really, really well in the air fryer or the oven as well. Uh, the only thing about pork rinds, definitely, you can do that. I don't know for sure if I would suggest the egg. Because the only thing with pork rinds, unless you get it really, really powder thin, is they get uh, kind of gooey. So a lot of people use pork rinds as like a casserole topping. I've never been successful. So I love pork rinds inside, like my meatballs I made the other night as an adhesive instead of breadcrumbs. But primarily if I'm doing a bake uh, or a coating on chicken or pork chop, I use the Parmesan cheese, but you can use pork rinds and it tastes good. So here's my second batch of chicken. So what we're gonna do with this chicken, I'm gonna wash my hands while I'm talking. What we're gonna do with this chicken is put it in the oven or your air fryer. I'm trying to multitask here. <laughs> we're going to put it in the oven with an air fryer. Uh, I'm 350 in the oven, so my confectioner, I guess that's what, 325? 320? I think it's 325. Okay. Uh, in the air fryer, I usually use 375. What we're going to do is bake it until it's done. Then we're going to pull it out and put some low carb marinara on there. I'm going to show you the one I'm using tonight. So you guys 
guys know I love Rayos. Rayos low carb marinara is so delicious. But let me show you a cheaper one that is really, really tasty. And it's called uh, Lucini. Lucini, this is my favorite one. It's a roasted garlic because y'all know I love garlic. But this is really good. It has the same carb count as Rayos, and I love Rayos. I will buy Rayos again. But this is like $3 cheaper than Rayos, and it really is good. You don't have to add anything to it, just like Rayos. You can drink it right out of the jar if you want it. <laughs> <laughs> or some of the other low carb marinaries, you don't have to kind of add some garlic or add some Italian. This is just as good, if not as good, as Rayo. So that's what we're using tonight, guys. I'm shopping on a budget. I try to stay on a budget. And I'm going to show you guys how easy and cheap it is to eat keto, because so many people say that keto is too expensive, which is crazy. It is not expensive. It just all depends on what you want to eat. If you want to eat steaks every night, then yeah, it's going to get expensive. That's Rayo. Right, uh, that's right, <laughs> But you don't have to eat steaks every night to be keto. All right, any other questions, Alex, you see? Um, I don't see any questions. All right, I'm going to turn my oven on preheat real quick, and then I'm going to show you how to make these noodles. <laughs> Look at these, so good. All right. How'd you get caught in the back? She asked me. Go over to Marcy. Look at that ass. Here. <laughs> so, okay, Mom says, um, I just says confection bake, and it just says low. And then I got confection... Roll flow, confection roast, confection recipe. So confection bake. Keep it on low? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's look, not telling me how I can move. Look, turn around, turn turn around with your other hand. Hey, oh, no, seriously. There's no place to like. Back up, back up. Beep beep. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Whoever answered that question, I'm sorry. Oh, there you go. Oh, put it on 325. That's perfect. <laughs> All right, let me show you these noodles. Actually, from Ruby. That's my aggravating husband. If you guys don't remember him or if you've never watched us live in the kitchen before my husband and I have been together since I was 15 years old, he is 100% an aggravating jokester who loves me to death, thank God, because I have the best husband ever. That's not because he's just standing here. He drives me crazy, but he loves me more than anything in the world. So I'm very blessed. We have a, a great time together, even though we drive each other crazy. So, that's the truth. <laughs> All right, Zoodles. Thanks you don't have funny, to have <laughs> And then I was so excited I couldn't wait to use it. So I love my KitchenAid. It's not something I use every day. So don't go out and buy a $350 KitchenAid. You can use a hand zooter. You can use a cheese grater for your um, noodles. Or you can actually buy frozen zoodles. Or you can buy frozen zoodles. So I like the frozen zoodles. They're easy. But I love fresh vegetables. Freaking get out of the kitchen. Get out of the kitchen. <laughs> I have zucchini. I cut off the ends and cut it in half. And we are going to use my zoodler. So all you do is put your little compartment on here, your zoodle attachment, and you just make them small so they'll fit. Freaking out, do this. Mm -mm. And then you just turn it on. Watch this, it's so cool. Your beard's in my hair. Ricky, get, get out of the kitchen. I'm going to whoop your butt. <laughs> I see my sister in law is pulling up. Ricky, get out of the kitchen. I'm going to slap you. Get out of the kitchen. All <laughs> yeah, right. Now you have the dog. Yeah, you're right. So, anyway, I'm going to get off here because my sister in law is here. I'm going to show you or tell you real quick how to do the zoodles because I'm not ready yet. The thing with zoodles is it takes literally less than 10 minutes. So, you don't want to start your zoodles really early. If you're using fresh, you can use a KitchenAid, you can use a hand zoodler. They have them for $20 at Walmart. You can use a chicken, I mean a chicken. You can use a cheese grater. Uh, but um, get your zoodles ready or you're using the frozen ones. If you're using the frozen ones, follow the directions. So after you get your zoodles cut up and ready, <clears throat> we're gonna put them on a skillet and butter. 
because I'm making like a chicken parmesan, right? So I'm gonna use butter, salt, pepper, oregano, Italian. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna cook them down until they're the consistency I like, which is not crunchy, not mushy. <laughs> and when they're done, I'm gonna add some heavy cream. This is, makes the most awesome sauce. Heavy cream, Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese. It is delicious. You can add some red pepper flakes. You can add as much Italian as you want, which I will. And when that chicken is done, we're gonna put that marinara on top, a little mozzarella cheese, put it back in there to melt, and you've got a finished meal that can be seriously done in 20 minutes if Ricky wasn't aggravating me. <laughs> All right, guys, if you have any questions, please send them my way. If you find this video helpful for something that you would like to cook, I promise you, your family will love it. Share this video, please, with your friends on your page. And if you have any questions for me, send me a personal message, put it in the comments below. I'll come back to the video later, but I do want to spend some time with my sister-in-law. So I'm going to get off here. I hope you guys have a fantastic night, and I hope you enjoy your chicken parmesan. Talk to you later. Bye.